Welcome to tutorial on SMS telephone. That is how to send an Android SMS using your own. Now, as all of you must be aware, Android comes with inbuilt messenger app for sending the SMS. So all Android devices has inbuilt messaging app for sending and receiving the SMS. Now, if you want to implement the SMS messaging in your own app, there are two ways. You can do the operation number one is use built-in application in android phone for that you need to get the permission send sms and add it to your manifest file another way is to use the sms manager api now how to do it with your inbuilt application for that you need to follow the certain step step number one add permission to android manifest so you need to add the line uses permission android colon name equal to android dot permission dot send underscore sms so this will give the permission to the app for sending the sms step number two set the number to which message to be sent for that you need to use inbuilt uri class so uri type uri sms Go to URI.pass and then SMS2 and give the number to which you want to send the SMS. Step number three will be creating an intent for sending the message. So intent type intent SMS equal to new intent intent dot action underscore send to and pass the URI object to it. Step number four is put the SMS text using put extra into the intent. So intent sms dot put extra and in the sms body pass the sms text that you want to send up whatever the message that you want to send. Step number four, 5 is start the intent by calling the start activity. So when you call the start activity and pass the intent sms to it. So this will call your inbuilt messaging app for sending the sms. Now we will see practically how to do it. So let's move on to the Android Studio and create an empty Android project. So here I have already created an empty Android project. So first of all, after creating the entry empty Android project, go to the Android manifest file and follow the step number one. That is add permission to Android manifest. So here we have added permission, use this permission Android colon name Android dot permission dot send underscore SMS. I have also added one other permission for receiving the SMS. As of now, it is not mandatory to add the receive SMS in your app. For sending, you just need to get the permission Android dot permission dot send SMS. If you also want to receive the SMS, then you, this permission can be added. Now, next thing will be design some GUI for sending the message so here i have designed some gui as you can see yeah, i have designed a simple ui over here where there are two edit texts one for entering the mobile number to which you want to send the sms and the sms message you want to send and then there is a button called as send sms when you click on the send but sms button this should actually call your inbuilt app for sending the message. Now let's see the code for this particular thing. I use this linear layout and as I have already told you, I use edit text for the mobile number. Then there is another edit text for SMS sending the SMS text. And there is a button called as send SMS. Now we'll go to the main activity.java file where we have the actual coding. Now for mobile number and message, I have taken the edit text, then a button send SMS, then I have get taken mobile number equal to edit text find by view by id r dot id dot edit text. Similarly, another edit text is taken and button is also. Then on the click of the button, I need to add how the action should happen. So send SMS dot set on click listener. Now first thing that we need to do is we need to get the number from the ui as well as message 
so that's why I have taken mobile number dot get text dot to string to get the mobile number to which message to be set and similarly I retrieve the message to be set. Now we need to follow the step number two that is set the number to which message to be set. So for that you are supposed to use the URI class URI type URI SMS equal to URI dot parse SMS2 and I have passed the number to which message to be set. Then step number three, creating the intent. Intent type intent SMS equal to new intent and pass the action underscore send to it and the URI SMS object. Then as already discussed, you are supposed to go to the step number four, put SMS text using put extra into the intent. So intent SMS dot put extra and then pass the SMS body and order the message that you want to send. So message you take, so we have already taken over here and we are passing over to your image. And then step number five, start the intent by calling the start activity. Now once this is called, your actual messaging app in your Android phone will be called for sending the SMS and then you just need to click on the send button and then obviously say how to send the SMS, SMS messaging app will be called. So that was the first way in which you can send a message. Uh, now we'll look into the another way how to send a message. That is use the SMS manager API for sending the SMS. This is very easy compared to the previous technique. You need to get step number one is get instance of SMS manager by calling the SMS manager dot get. So for sending the SMS, you need to call the SMS manager. So SMS manager type SMS manager equal to SMS manager dot get depot. And step number two is call send text message method by passing the phone number and message. So it's pretty easy task. Just take the SMS manager and pass the text message to it with along with what are the parameters that are required. Let's see this as well practically. So on the similarly, you have to create a empty project over here then then design the same gui that was there that is uh, uh, mobile number the message and the send to button and then you need to go to the main activity also we have retired all parameters that is mobile number message and send sms button and similarly on button click you are supposed to add the activity so step number one will be get instructs of SMS manager by calling SMS manager dot get default. So this will give you the instance of SMS manager. Step number two is call send to text message. So SMS manager dot send text message you need to pass the number to which you want to pay the message. Source address you can keep it as a null. Third parameter will be the message and fourth and fifth parameter will be you can set it to the null for intent. These are for actually used for the intent, but as of now, you can send it to the null. And that's it. It will be done. Your app will be running. Thank you.